Hello, I'm Rock City Roller, and this is Dad Reviews Lawn Mowing Simulator. Hey guys, Rock City Roller, and I'm here today to review a new game that just released from Curve Digital and Skyhook Games called Lawn Mowing Simulator. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a gamer that likes to play just about everything, but I'm also a father to a four-year-old son, Pebble. And I thought it'd be cool to do a review of games from not only a gamer standpoint, so your typical review that probably nine other people are going to be putting out YouTube videos that say the same thing as me, but also taking a look at it as how does this game play with a kid? So we're going to go through, I'll give you guys an overview of the game. We're going to talk through some of the impressions, and then we're going to get into a little section I like to call Pebble Plays. And that's where I'm going to give my son the game to play for a little bit, get his impressions, and let you guys know what he thinks, but also what it, what it was like to play this game with a child. So without further ado, let's get into it. In their own words, Lawn Mowing Simulator lets you experience the beauty and detail of mowing the great British countryside in the only simulator that allows you to ride an authentic and expansive roster of real-world licensed lawnmowers from prestigious manufacturers Toro, Skag, and Stiga. This is very much a simulator that I would put in the vein of something like Power Washing Simulator, and then it provides a very satisfying, almost zen-like experience. So in career mode, you'll start your mowing business, uh, purchase mowers, take on contracts, hire employees, and build the ultimate grass-cutting conglomerate that this virtual neighborhood has ever seen. Free mode allows you to kind of pick any location, any mower, assuming that you've unlocked them both in the career mode, and have your hand at cutting the grass or just practice not running over the owner's tulip garden. And in challenge mode, your progress in career mode will unlock challenges at three levels of difficulty, amateur, professional, and expert, for you to try to complete for an extra challenge. These include time limit, fuel limit, and striping scenarios that will challenge your ingenuity and mower control. The game's $29.99 USD and is available at August 10th on Steam, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. The game requirements on PC are no slouch, with a minimum required i7-7700 and a 1050Ti for 1080p 30fps on low settings. In order to hit 1080p 60fps on high settings, you're looking at a Ryzen 1700X and a 2060 Super. Wheels will be supported at launch for PC users only, assuming that they have one of the supported wheels. This includes full true force support for users with supported Logitech wheels. However, at the time of recording, I haven't received the wheel that I ordered yet, so I didn't have the chance to test this. So all the gameplay that you're gonna see in this video is on a controller. They also mentioned there's some technical hurdles for wheel support on consoles, um, but they did mention that they're gonna update the community when the, the platform certifies their, their support for wheels. So if you've been following me on Twitter, you'll know that I've been super excited about this game since I played the demo back in June. Uh, now that I've had my hands on the full copy for about a week, I wanna give some impressions. First of all, and probably the most important piece, is that in this game, it feels great to mow lawns. It's super satisfying to clear the board, seeing the long grass become short grass, in the same way that it feels super satisfying in Power Washing Simulator to see the dirty, whatever you're cleaning, become clean. There's enough visual feedback on the stripes that you get from mowing, either from the wheels on low-end mowers or striping kits that you can add to high-end mowers, that really gives you that sense of satisfaction of laying down some hopefully straight lines. And that I think is an important piece here, right? As at the end of the day, a lawn mowing simulator has to feel good mowing lawns. And this one does, I think they nailed it on this one. The environments are also another strong point in the game. I think the environments feel alive and are pretty well constructed. There's a good variety of them from small backyard gardens to large castles and parks. They provide a challenge all of them have their own unique quirks. Um, some of them may have some interesting shaped gardens. Some of them may have some trees, fountains. There may be some pathways that you have to pay attention to so that you don't leave grass clippings on them. Uh, the graphics are really well done. I think there's a lot of good reflections. The textures look really nice. I think the grass looks a little weird in some places, um, but I think that has to do with the system that they use to model the individual grass that really gives you uh, a more organic feel to the actual edge of the of where you're cutting unlike like a farming simulator where you can tell that there are there are clearly blocks of whatever crop that you're harvesting this allows you to really get you know kind of curved lines if you 
do that um, and provides, I think, for a more accurate mowing experience. It would be nice to have some better visual indicators of grass length. So one of the mechanics in the game, obviously, is that if the grass is too long and you don't slow down, you're going to leave grass uncut. You're going to bog down your mower. You're going to put more strength strain on your engine but it's really hard to tell visually just from looking at the grass where this occurs until you know your engine red lines and you're already you know in trouble the mowers i think are another good part of this but i have some concerns so they're very unique which is one of the things that i was the most excited about when i played the demo so you've got front deck you've got baggers uh you've got side discharge rear discharge you've got zero turns um and they all feel different every mower feels a little bit different to to drive and to operate um and you know all of their mechanics and their um their driving you know steering everything like that all has animations tied to it so they're really well done really well modeled but i would love to see more manufacturers represented in the game uh, maybe added down the road i don't know if modding's been talked about or if skyhook plans to support modding but obviously that's another way that that more manufacturers and more tractors and mowers and all that stuff comes back into the game so obviously right now we've got toro skag stiga knight is in there you know a lot of the the european manufacturers obviously me personally i would love to see you know john deere you know the the american brands represented but obviously the licensing and everything for that becomes a bigger issue so i I don't think it's a major concern right now you know it's definitely something to consider when you know you you get down to the the brass tacks and the, the, the amount of content that's in the game as far as playing the game the controls are super easy to learn so it's a much more simplistic control scheme than say something like farming simulator 19 uh you're, there's not many buttons there's there's go there's stop there's turn adjusting the mower height throttle which only has two settings which is a little disappointing right you, you don't really have much th- throttle control you're either at low idle or you're at ready to go mode it does play well on a control controller which like i mentioned before is where most of this gameplay is coming from however speed control and steering are a little tricky on controller and there's really no adjustments uh as far as turning sensitivity in the settings right so you can adjust camera sensitivity for looking around um but as far as steering and things like that you can't and i think on a controller sometimes that that makes some of these really hard to to maneuver especially the zero turns um you know the a small slight stick adjustment on a zero turn can send you off to you know left field wheel support should alleviate this i hope assuming that the proper adjustments are available to but definitely need to to have a little bit more control over setting up the controls the way that you would like them and really that's that's probably my only complaint with the controls themselves as far as performance pc performance makes the high system requirements make sense um, so my personal rig is a ryzen 3700x and an rtx 3070 i managed to get one at retail don't ask me how long it took me. But even with that, I average probably 40 to 70 frames per second on high settings at 1440p. And obviously you don't need 165 hertz for lawnmower, but it makes me concerned for when I finally unlock some of the bigger castle levels with longer draw distances, more open spaces, more things to model. I believe this is due to the fact that if you look, the grass is individually modeled essentially, which allows you to get more organic lines as I mentioned before, but it does make it a very, I believe a very, heavy game graphically um i was able to get a review copy on xbox as well to compare those two and xbox series x performance struggles there's there's definitely some frame rate drops there um nothing that makes the game unplayable by any means but it's definitely noticeable if you're used to seeing you know 60 fps coming out of your xbox series x and all of a sudden you're, you're dropping down into probably the 30 40 frame per second range obviously i have no way to monitor frame rate on my xbox so i I can't say for sure i'm just basing off my my eyes overall this is a very fun simulator game if you're somebody that enjoys simulators this is probably going to be right up your alley i think like i said it, it combines the the clear the board satisfaction of power washing simulator with the ability to drive cool machinery and tractors like you get in farming simulator 19 um there's right now there's 31 environments there's 12 mowers and there's a bunch of challenges so there's there's plenty of content there at launch um but i think we need you know looking forward understanding how skyhook and curve are gonna 
support the game in the future and whether mod support is going to be enabled is going to really help us understand how long that content's going to last and like i mentioned i think we need more customizations for controls especially for controller players um and some performance improvements especially on console like i said nothing nothing here is unplayable um but you know if if mods are added and we start adding more stuff to the game you know you start to wonder how that affects performance and if eventually we're going to reach a point where things really start to hang and, and skip and this brings me to my favorite part of the reviews, Pebble Plays. This is where I take my four-year-old son, sit him down, and find ways to play this game with him. Uh, so obviously, we've been playing a ton of Farming Simulator 19 since it's come to Game Pass. He loves driving tractors, right? I Farming Sim is kind of tough because by the time I get stuff planted, he wants to go buy new tractors, right? So the money money mod pumps money into your farm has been very important to our success in that game. However, I sat him down here and I said, hey, let's let's play some, some lawn mowing simulator. And I hopped into free play. You know, the one thing that was tough was not only do you have to unlock the tractors in career mode to be able to use them in free play, but you have to actually purchase the lawnmowers in career mode to be able to play them in free play. So even though I had unlocked up to the Toro something or other, I hadn't purchased it, he couldn't use it in the game. All of the, the locations had been unlocked, so we had plenty of places to try to mow, but he didn't have a big selection on tractors. So for somebody that wants to pull their kid in and, and let them just kind of drive around and, and play, that could be a downside. It would be nice to have a, a pure sandbox mode where, you know, free mode is really just that. It's free. Mow anywhere, you know, use any tractors. However, the, the rest of it was great. He was able to pick up the controls very easily. He was able to do stuff on his own. Now, granted, it's not his first time picking up a controller, but it was really good, and I, I think it really helped him start to understand kind of clear the board it's almost like coloring to him right like he was able to see that he was cutting the grass and he was able to see the spots that he was missing and get to those spots so over overall it was a great game to play and i mean he's begging to play some more this is a two thumbs up from from pebble absolutely so overall, I think this is a great sim game for people that enjoy sim games. So if you look at your Steam library and you see Farming Sim, Power Washing Simulator, all of those simulator type games, I think you're going to enjoy this one. Also, I think if you enjoy you know, the idea of mowing lawn and driving tractors, I think you get that experience here without obviously all of the allergies and you know 90 degree and sunburn. There's definitely a good amount of content at launch to justify the $30 price tag, but I'm definitely interested to see the future of support from the developers as well as if mod support is going to be either tied into the game or allowed through like a Steam Workshop. Customization and performance improvements, I think, are my only really drawbacks on this game right now. They're going to be crucial to the accessibility to most players, right? People need to be able to properly control their mowers, especially when you get into more complicated properties. You're going to want to have that more fine control over the mower, which I think steering sensitivity and things like that would help. Also, performance improvements. Granted, yes, I'm running at 1440p, but I, I don't have a very slouch of a computer either. Either. And for me to only see 60 FPS on high settings is a little concerning for people that are coming in with either budget rigs or laptop. Definitely going to be put performance improvements kind of high up on the list of needs going forward. But again, overall, I think if you're looking for a fun simulator game, you're looking for a lawn mowing experience, a clear the board experience, kind of that satisfying zen like game that you can just kind of zone out to with some music and, and cruise and mow some lawns, I think this is going to be the game for you. So thanks for watching my review on Lawn Mowing Simulator. If you want to see more of me, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Rock City Roller Monday through Thursday, 830 Eastern. If you want to see Lawn Mowing Simulator ahead of, of release, I will have it live this Monday, August 9th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. So stop by if you've got any questions, you want to check some things out. Um, at that point, I'll be able to kind of show as, as much as I can on the live stream and be able to answer any questions that you have at that time. Until then, thank you all for tuning in to Dan Reviews Lawn Mowing Simulator. Until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day and absolutely good day tomorrow. Peace.